day trading emotions. Talking about the emotion of being scared of losing money and not seeing a trade through. Having a plan, not seeing the trade through because of emotions. Talking about it in this video, so stay tuned. Human emotions are a part of day trading. It's just a part of it. Everybody has emotions. Everyone has problems with getting out of a trade too early. Maybe it's just me, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people out there have these same exact problems. I kind of want to talk about it because when I do talk about it, when I make these videos, when I talk about it out loud, I'm hoping that in my brain, I'm somehow ingraining this in my brain. I keep telling myself, I need to focus. I need to get on the horse here. I need to whip this horse to the grave, baby, because there is money to be made and I cannot let my emotions get in the way of that money. So today, I wanna talk about LPI, not because of the stock. This is a stock that I could have made money on or I'm, this is not what that video is about. This video is about the pure emotions, the emotions of what went through with this stock, with this trade and why I did what I did and how I can do it better in the future. LPI this morning got stuck there at 950. Where did I short at? Well, I got short at 948. That's that's not bad. That's a good little short. Good to do a short entry there. You can see this resistance. What was my plan? My plan was looking for this move down here to the $9 and possibly below $9. Well, what happened? So I shorted here at 950. I saw the resistance there. I saw that it had problems. I saw that it had bad news. Everything lined up perfectly all my checklists were checked check 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 but the problem was it went sideways it showed strength faked me out and the emotion my emotions got to me and i told myself i don't want to lose on this trade i'd rather just get out for break even instead of having to squeeze on me because what's happened in the past is the last couple days that i've shorted stock pre-market what has happened i've got squeezed and even though those squeezes ended up coming back down mentally now I'm thinking every single stock is going to squeeze me. And what did this stock do? It went the opposite way. It squeezed down and it hit my profit target. It actually went all the way to 870 later on. I probably never would have held it this long, but still it got down there to the $9 area. So that would have been a nice $400 profit getting this move down there to $9. And the problem really was, was it patience? Was it the emotion? Was it me thinking, oh man, this thing's gonna rip on me or it's gonna go up. I think a lot of it was the emotion of having those two or three trades that have squeezed on me in the last couple of days, losing money on those. And now every single trade that I get into, which is kind of similar to this, where I get into a trade where I have clear resistance, everything looks beautiful. And then all of a sudden the market opens and I get squeezed. Now in my head, I'm thinking that's gonna happen over and over again. So it's happened three times and now I've actually had two opportunities where I've had two opportunities where I ended up getting out early because of that emotion from those trades that squeezed me. There's going to be trades you're going to lose on, and that's just part of it. But the last thing that you want to do where LPI, yeah, it could have squeezed on me, but at the same time, I'm checking off a list. It's got bad news. It's got a bad ER. It's gapped down. It's showing resistance at 950. That's previous resistance, previous support. That's now resistance. It's showing all of these key things, but mentally, emotionally, I'm thinking, I'm going to get squeezed. I'm going to get squeezed. It's going to happen. So the emotions won over the logic, won over my experience. Today on LPI, I was more focused on the idea of losing any money. When it went to 950 again, when it kept touching 950, I was like, nope, I'm getting out. I don't want to lose money. I don't want to lose a dollar on this stock. I don't want to lose one penny. Technically, I should be a robot. I should just go into the trade, have my stop loss, have my target, no matter what happens, I should execute the plan there. So I gotta remove the emotion of being scared of losing money or just the emotion of losing money in general. You know, it's not that I'm like, oh, I'm scared about losing money. I don't think it's really that. I think it's just the emotion of maybe being wrong or, you know, getting squeezed or having a problem. You know, maybe the market opens and I'm like, oh, oh, I'm out. I gotta get out of here. It's squeezing on me or I don't know. Really, I gotta cut the emotions out, baby. I got to become ruthless here. Problem here. Here's a big problem. If you trade like I've been trading, if you trade emotionally, LPI, it dropped. It went, that was beautiful. I would have made $400. My plan, $400. Boom. That's what I should have made. That was should have been my plan. That's what I should have done. Now, so today I only made, what, $10 on the stock. I got off a break even. So tomorrow, let's say I do the same opportunity again, right? 
and I get stubborn and I don't jump out or I hold it and then it squeezes on me and I lose 200. So I can't go into trades where it's a winner, where I have a good trade, where I would have profited. I can't lose out on those trades. If I have a good winner, if I have a trade that's working out, if it's working out exactly like I planned, I need to capitalize. Think about it like this. If I'm taking five trades and three of those trades are good trades that I got into, that I found, that I checked off all of the check marks, that everything works out perfectly. If those three trades work out beautifully, but I get out early because of emotion, if I take profit early, if I jump out because I'm worried it's going to spike on me, and then you know I break even on those three trades, but then I have two losers that I lose $200, $300 on, I'm never going to make any money in the market. And that's really the problem here. I need to make sure that when I do have a stock, you know, it's 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 not so much luck, but it's obviously going to be, you know, you're going to get five trades, two of those trades, maybe three of those trades might be losers. So I need to make sure that those two trades that I win on, the two trades that I'm right about are massive winners or at least winners in general. So I can't take $10 on a trade when I'm risking $200. That's just not good risk management. So if I'm going to go into a trade, I need to go into that trade knowing that I'm going to risk $200. No matter what, I'm risking $200. If it doesn't work out, I'm going to get out. I'm going to lose 200. But if it does work out, if this trade does what I want it to do, I should get 400 to $500 in profit. So if I do that enough, if I do that three out of five times, those losers won't matter. Looking at the math, thinking about the plan, having a plan, having a plan to execute, having the checklist and thinking to yourself that you know what's going to happen. You know the stock could possibly squeeze you might lose 200, but it's looking better for the opportunity that it's going to crash and you're going to make 400 to 500 dollars. And that's what I need to do. That's what I need to do going into these trades. So I need to focus. I got to focus on this. I've got to get the emotions out of me. I don't know what it is. I don't know why, but for some reason, I've got some emotions about losing right now and I don't want to lose. I don't know if it's the videos. I don't know if it's the recaps. I don't know if I've had some bad losers. I've gotten squeezed on some stocks and now I'm just like, no, I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose. I got to get out. I got to get out. I'm getting out for break even. I'm getting out. Break even. I'm getting out. So really, it's just important. It's important that I focus here. I need to focus. I got to get back to the drawing board. They got to get their emotions. You got to remove the emotions out of my day trading. And that's what we're going to do. That's what I'm going to focus on next week. I'm going to focus on removing the emotions. So there it is. Remove the emotions from your day trading. Trade like a robot and you will make money. As long as you have a solid plan, as long as you're finding the right stock. If you remove the emotion, you're going to make money. You're going to make money. That's really the big problem with humans in general with day trading is the emotional aspect. That's why most people lose money. It's not because they're wrong or they're right. It's because they're emotion. Simple as that. There you go.